So today I want to talk about how to seam this really crazy looking sweater. So if you are making my pearly shell um, yarn stores slow yarn crawl sweater, you are going to have something that looks um, a little bit like this. So let me back out and I will show you what I'm talking about. So this is my vertically knit sweater. Um, I made this because Heather asked me to, pretty much. And I said, okay, okay, I'll make your slow yarn crawl thing and I'll make this sweater that you wanted. And this is how I mark and make sure that I have all of my increases in on my sleeves. So that's what all of these are. So we're going to actually ignore those. But um, when you finish, your piece is gonna look something crazy like this. It'll have these long pieces for the front and it'll have this big shoulder piece here. Let's see if I can back it out a little more. There we go. So shoulder piece. This is the neck. This is actually the back. I know it looks really small, but I promise it's not. All right. So what we have to do with this is we actually have to seam our sweater. And there's several different ways that you can seam. Um, it's perfectly fine if you want to do a crochet chain seam um, along these edges, but you can also use um, a whip stitch or um, Well, there's just there's just a lot of different ways that you can do your seaming and it's up to you uh, So what you need to do is go ahead and sort of lay your sweater out and then you'll start at um, an edge so you can either start at the bottom like I'm going to do here and work up towards the armpit and then out along the sleeve or of course you can start at the sleeve and work your way in and then back down on this side seam so those are your options and you will of course need to do this seaming on both sides of your sweater so this is what we are looking at right here and um, I did use a couple of different skeins of yarn so that I have some color play because I thought that was really fun now I actually have a bone needle. You do not have to use a bone um, needle when you are doing this. I just happen to like this one. Uh, you can use just a standard tapestry needle uh, if you want, but I do really like these bone ones. And I'm actually going to use some of my yarn that was left over from when um, I was knitting earlier. I'd get to the end of a row and see I didn't have enough left, and so then I would just hold on to this thread so that this yarn so that I could use it for my seaming. So um, the first thing that you want to do is try to figure out how much you are going to need. It is okay if you have to add more thread into your seam. I think this um, one little bundle is a pretty good length. So I'm just going to use it as it was. And I will go ahead, thread my needle, and I'm going to keep this tail just a little bit longer so that as I'm pulling it through um, it doesn't hurt my shoulder as badly. And then we are going to get started. Now I am going to go ahead and bring the camera down low so that we can take a look at what we're going to be seaming together here on this sweater. Okay. So here we are. We are ready to start seaming the edge of this sweater. Now because this is a garter um, piece you can seam it from either side you just need to remember that if you seam it from the outside you will have to flip your sweater inside out <laughs> so because i want to um, keep the sweater the way it is i am going to start from the inside of my piece and again there's no like inside or outside on this sweater because it is a garter stitch piece uh, so you can just pick a side um, to get started, I'm just going to take my nice tapestry needle here in along the edge. And I do want to leave a little bit of a tail on purpose because I will put this in later. Um, I do that because I like to make sure that I have my edges locked down. So all I'm going to do to start this is going at the very edge here and here. Let's see if I can uh, bring you in a little closer. There we go. So right there, this is what I'm going to start with, right here. Okay, 
And now um, I'm just going to go back and forth. Now, because this was a vertically knit sweater, that means that my stitches were actually going this way and this way. And I am working with a um, cast on or a bound off edge on each side here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, hook underneath each stitch, just like this. So both legs, the pair of legs for this stitch and then pull my yarn through. Now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to find the same thing over here and hook through the pair of legs and I will just keep going all the way up. Uh, now doing this is going to push my, um, my bound off edge and my um, cast on edge out because what I'm doing is I am hooking one stitch in along each side of that edge and at this point I can decide if I want to um, have that as a feature I can pull it tight and I can see what it's going to look like I will have a little raised um, seam along my outside edge or if I want to um, not have that show, then I will actually use this as the um, outside of my garment. So it just depends, depends on what you're going to do. Again, because this is um, a garter stitch, a vertical garter stitch piece. There we go. Um, it's going to be just a little bit different than if you had stockinette or if you had a smooth interior or a smooth exterior. So reverse stockinette or stockinette. But it's up to you. You can of course just use um, a crochet hook and go ahead and chain together um, your seams if you'd rather do that. It's totally up to you. So I have to decide now if I like this. This is going to be my very visible seam or my interior, it actually looks pretty good from the interior. So I may make this the outside of my, of my sweater and then um, keep this for my interior. Now I'm going to keep working on this seam. I'm gonna do this all the way along. Um, when I get to the sleeve, then I will show you what I'm going to do there. The sleeve is going to be very similar um, the only difference is that we are going to be working with stitches along the side. So when we whip stitch these down, we are going to have to pay attention to, again, the direction of these stitches because you can see that they are going in different directions, what we're seaming here versus what we would be seaming along the sleeve. So I am going to finish up the body and then I'll, I will be back. Now that I have seamed all the way up the side of my sweater, I'll show that to you. There we go all the way up the side. I am ready to tackle my sleeve. Now I did go ahead and you can see I've removed all of my stitch markers that I was using except for the very first stitch marker and the very last stitch marker because I'm going to use those as kind of gauges for where I am. Um, now when I go ahead and sew up this portion what I want to do is make sure that I am picking up a stitch just to the inside of both edges I'll show you that because what I want to do is I want to turn that seam inwards just like I did on the side of the sweater only this time when I do it um, I'm actually going to be looking for the bar about one stitch in and that's a pretty loose stitch so we might have to go in here let's fix the corner here real quick all right, there we go. Okay, so now what we wanna do is come in um, one stitch in from the edge. So we can see this is our edge stitch. Um, as you go down your sleeve, your edge stitch will continue to move in because you've done increases along the edge of this sleeve. So you'll find that that um, edge stitch will keep moving inwards uh, simply because we are working with fewer stitches on each round. So now this time what I want to do is I want to hook 
this garter ridge, and then this garter ridge. And I'm actually going to use the garter ridges as my guide, and I am going to continue seaming the garter ridges together. That's my goal. And trying to push a little bit of that fabric towards the inside. So here's your next garter ridge. That is one of the nice things about having just a plain uh, garter sweater is that you can really easily see those ridges and you can get here one stitch in. Okay, and what should be happening is on the inside, here is the sleeve edge, but you can start to see this was the side seam. This is my sleeve edge. And I will continue to go one stitch in, in the garter ridge all the way down. And you should see similar colors. So because this is a striped um, version, you should see very similar colors that you're picking up as you go down this edge. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this stitch marker out because I no longer need it. One stitch in from the edge, one stitch in. That won't be perfect because um, the colors won't entirely match up, but they should mostly match up on this yarn. Uh, you will have been using a similar color throughout most of the row. And I say that, and then this one's a little bit funkier. All right, and again, you can kind of see this seam that I am building up on the inside. Um, that's another thing, so if you pull on your thread, that's all right, but you do want to move it back out. Um, you don't want this to be necessarily too loose, but you also don't want it really tight, because if this is really tight, it's going to bunch. So um, I do that periodically. I, I kind of tighten it up and then pull it out, um, just to make sure that my yarn is looking okay. And, and I'm just trying to match my garter ridges. Now, they aren't matching up quite as well as I would have liked. My other option would have been to grab under my garter ridge. Maybe I'll do that. So when I come to my sleeve, what I want to do is I actually want to catch um, one stitch in and I think of it as the stitch in the ditch. And the reason that we are going to catch the stitch in the ditch is because we want our um, seam to line up nicely. So I'm going in one stitch in and I'm grabbing that stitch in the ditch. I'm gonna do the same thing here, one stitch in, stitch in the ditch. And again, the reason that we're going to do that is because we don't really want um, this yarn to show up too much. We do want to make sure that um, the yarn that we've chosen to seam with is pretty much the same yarn that we've been using throughout so that it kind of blends in with everything that we're doing. Uh, I am choosing to do sort of an every other ridge seaming, which seems to be going all right. Uh, but again, we're going to go stitch in the ditch just like this. And when you come to it, um, you can take your stitch markers out or you can take them out ahead of time. It's kind of your choice. So just like this. Okay, and I'm going to seam this up all the way down. So I will be back with you when I have that done. One thing I do need to mention is that as you are working on your seam, it's important to pull and then release your um, thread so that you, or your yarn as the case may be, to make sure that uh, you don't have this seam too tight. You don't want a really tight seam. And you can see how I am getting that raised ridge on the inside of the arm, just like I have the raised ridge on the inside of that side seam. So what I like to do is as I, I go along, I, I'll tighten it up a little too much, and then I'll pull it out and I'll smooth it back into place. You will want to make sure that you're matching your colors up as much as possible as well. Um, if you are using a striped yarn, because again, you just want to make sure that uh, you are making this seam as um, hidden as possible so that it really blends into the background of your fabric. That is our goal, is to have it blend into the background of the fabric. Let's see, there it is. 
now I'm going to go finish this up and then I will be back to um, to show you a finished seam on our sleeve. Okay, I am back. And here we go. I have sewn that whole seam all the way through to the end of my sleeve. And I did go ahead and sort of weave in my ends over here. Um, now the yarn that I used for this is a Highland wool. So it is a nice sticky yarn and those ends will felt into that seam as uh, you wear your sweater. Um, but I did go ahead and I just made sure that I um, stretched out that seam so that, let's put this down, so that it's not too tight, too tightly seamed along that edge. But there we go. So this, let's see if I can back you out a little bit. There we go. This is half of the sweater all seamed up. So now you can see how it needs to be done. Now you can also choose to wear it with this um, heavy seam side out if that makes you happier. Um, I think I would probably be wearing it this way, but it's completely up to you. Now once you have finished with your seaming on both sides of your sweater, you can come in and pick up your stitches to finish your collar and um, at that point you can put in all of your ends and um, give it a little wash and a block and you're good to go. So anyway, that is how you seam the edge on your um, vertically knit, vertically knit garter stitch cardigan. So anyway, I hope that that helped and uh, thanks for watching.